Howdy folks, Ryan here. We are about to take a look back at uh, the events of my weeks and um, weeks 3 through 10. And this is a period of time that I didn't do much video. Like I said, I was very sick with, with the Crohn's and, and the eventually what turned out to be a bowel obstruction. And I ended up going to the hospital for that. So this is going to be a little longer vlog since it is like a, f a few weeks of stuff. The first thing I'm going to show is actually um, my wifey's birthday. I did a little bit, a little clip of my wifey's birthday, and this is before going to the hospital. And then when um, I ended up going to the hospital, and it was it was in the middle of the night, um, I had to uh, basically tell Priscilla, okay, we need to call an ambulance. Uh, the the pain was just too great for me, and, and I just couldn't take it anymore. And, and people were telling me for the past weeks, you know, Ryan, you need to go to the hospital. And my stubborn pride, I tend to deal with things more holistically than medically. For this, I mean, for a bowel obstruction, you obviously you need to go to the hospital. Uh, so I didn't know what was going on, though. So I'm just like, okay, we called the ambulance, and the ambulance took me. I was literally dying. I could have died. It was a very serious situation. In spite of the seriousness of the situation, um, Priscilla, when we were getting ready to go to the hospital, had the foresight, and, she, and this is why I love her, because even... If I'm on death's door, she's still thinking about me and, and thinking about my goals and dreams because she took the camera along, the video camera along, and was we were able to video record a, a little bit of what was going on in the hospital. So we do have quite a bit of, of stuff to show you. Um, a lot of this is actually going to be on a documentary of my healing journey uh, through through healing this Crohn's, which will be released sometime in the future. I don't know. I'm still in the middle of doing it because I haven't fully healed yet but I'm doing that so so we do have quite a quite a bit of video at the hospital because I stay there for about a week so so we do we do have quite a bit of that so I'll show some of that and then the last little bit is a, a week or two after I I think I'm making some making like spaghetti or something for Priscilla and you can already see me starting to feel a little bit better so this is going to be a week's uh, three through ten and I hope it gives you hope for anybody out there who is suffering through anything and, and realizes that your goals and dreams are being hindered by what disease or, or, or disability or whatever. Even though, as far as me, I, I'm pausing on my goals and dreams, don't let it stop you. Keep on doing something. Like That's why I have this vlog. That's why I'm still doing this vlog. Keep it going just to keep my skills going. So whatever your dream is, it could be anything. Don't let even death stop you. <laughs> Hit the... I mean... When, when, when you die, you should be skidding at least 10 feet. Just keep on going, keep on doing it. And so, uh, anyway, this is going to be a look back at weeks 3 through 10. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everybody. Look me here. This is a present from my beautiful wife, because today is her birthday. And so I got her something special, a nice gift. And I'll tell you what it is, because by the time uh, this vlog gets released. Um, she'll have opened it already, so I, I got her a printer, because we, we have some computers, but we don't really have a printer. So that's her birthday present. I'm waiting for her to come home. Since today is her birthday, I'm going to be making some tortilla pizzas, and uh, maybe a couple other goodies for her, but yeah. And I just want to say happy birthday, honey. I love you. Thank you for standing by me all the time. I couldn't have asked for a more better woman in my life than uh, than Miss Priscilla. She um, entered into my life just a few years ago, and I married her a year after meeting her. And I'm just I'm so happy that she was born because if it weren't for her, um, it would be hard for me to go through um, a day or months or years, um, especially with the um, illness situation that I'm going through. So, happy birthday, honey! I love you. And by the way, my week is starting right now. This is my week. Hello, warrior, hero. That's, that's the spirit. Um, yeah, so we're here in the place that we didn't want to be, but like I said, we're here. <laughs> That's my husband. I know he's going to feel better. 
it's just part of the process. And uh, we have here a visitor, Carla. Hi, my dear friend Carla. Thanks for coming. Uh, we are waiting to move Ryan out. I don't know what time it will be, but let's see if we can read the monitor. It is like about one thirteen, and uh, we're still waiting. Moment that we're here, that we'll come back later. I suppose that also Andrew and Nora will be here. I know that Pastor Manisha was here, so it was great. Oh, it's all right. It's very quiet. But it's trying to, it's trying to rest. Bye, honey. Love you. Okay, I'm back in the hospital. I'm staying overnight with my husband. This is the time, eight thirty-five. And he just showed me something that I'm looking. This little tool that I'm starting, especially dragging everything out from his small intestine, cleaning out. I want to show here. So this is working out, which is great. I'm gonna move forward to see the other side too. And as you can see, it's coming here. Lay down. Going up here. And look where it's going all the residuals. Right there. Okay, I think it's another night where Ryan is going to be connected with that too, which is doing a really great job because the uh, result was that half of the blockage he had is gone, so it's, it's doing really great. But look at him while he's watching food, <laughs> all okay. food, right mom? I know he's dreaming. Although he said today in the morning to the nurse that he, he will kill everybody for a glass of water. I know he's thirsty, but you're doing a pretty good job, Ryan. Awesome. Yeah, look at him. Probably his eyes are gonna pop out just by looking at those donuts there. You see that, right? <laughs> No worry, you will have probably. Probably. Today is the first of March, and I know Ryan is also happy because. First day of the rest of my life. <laughs> because he's. What, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna get this tube that is in my nose and actually down my throat, in my esophagus, in my stomach, in my small intestine. I'm gonna get it finally pulled out and then I can drink something and then I can eat something and then things will be a little bit normal. <sighs> yes, and I don't know how I look. I haven't looked myself in a mirror for days, so. I feel a lot better. That's good. <laughs>